had the pleasure of meeting the Seminole County Fire Rescue Team when we were at the team competition portion of the Hazardous Materials Training Symposium in Daytona Beach, Florida. Not long after, we rolled into Seminole County to visit their Fire and EMS Training Center. This top-notch facility has an ISO Class 1 rating with courses for fire, rescue, and hazardous materials response personnel. During our visit, we toured the facilities and filmed a hazmat propane flare training evolution. Let's join Lieutenant Ben Fulton as he walks us through training. All right, so here we are at Seminole County Fire Department's Fire Training Center. We're doing a uh, training scenario right now. We have a few new guys on this shift that have to go through their competencies to get checked off to go from probation to full special operations team members. So it usually takes up to about a year, depending on uh, the person themselves and the classes that they have. So right here, we're going to be doing some flaring off a 250-gallon tank. We're going to be tapping into our liquid propane side and using the Red Dragon that does approximately 500 plus gallons an hour and uh, doing a flare. So right now they're, they're setting up all their equipment. They're going to go through their um, safety checks, make sure there's no leaks in the lines, and we'll start the flare after that. Um, like I said, this might be their second or third time, but they have to do multi multiple competencies over and over again to make sure that they're proficient as a team member. So right here he has a liquid valve that he's going to drop into the liquid uh, tap of the tank. So that's where we get all of our liquid. So we're not tapping into vapor only. So we have, because this tube should drop down towards the bottom, towards the bottom of the tank, and that's where the liquid's sitting, the propane. So right here, he's hooking up to our 20 pound external source for the pilot light for the Red Dragon. So he'll sit there and open this up and make sure it doesn't have any leaks either. Um, like I said, this is what we use to keep that pilot lit while the Red Dragon's up, actually burning off the propane. So right now the, the pilot light's lit. So what he's gonna do from here is now that the pilot light's lit, he's gonna raise up the um, Red Dragon to get it out to where it's above everybody's head. So he's gonna pin it here. So from here he's gonna slowly open up the valve that starts pulling the liquid out of the tank. Well, so what, from here, if we're done with it, a lot of times you'll see that. If you see the light gray mist coming out, that's liquid propane. So when we start seeing the tank start burning down, where it starts losing pressure and all that, you'll see that flame lighting up. And when we get to the point where there's nothing left in the tank um, and there's not a lot of flame left, we'll sit there and slowly start shutting everything down, working backwards. Though today's propane training was filmed as a straightforward training evolution, there is nothing better than hands-on experience. If your department is looking for ideas on how to set up their training equipment, procedures, or improve your current training, the Seminole County Fire and EMS Training Center welcomes all. Look for classes on their SeminoleCountyFL.gov website. Let's get back with Lieutenant Fulton while he gives us a walk around of the training center. All right, so here at Simmel County Fire Department's Fire Training Center, it's a 19 acre facility. We teach all of our disciplines here from just fire, EMS, and our special operations and our new hires that come start off with us. We also, with our special ops classes, we do teach people throughout the state that come to us or even around the country that have come to us uh, here at our training center, we, we teach confined space, trench rescue, hazmat 160, um, VMR, so vehicle machinery rescue, rope rescue, including high angle and structural tower. If you look over here, this is our fire training tower. There's actually training going on right now. This is doing our modified Minuteman loads. But our training tower over here, we use for high angle rescue, as well as just regular fire um, for new hires where it's uh, pulling hose lines and uh, search and rescue drills and throwing ladders. If you look right here, this is our uh, Class A burn building. 
made out of Connex boxes, so we use that for the department and for new hires when they go through their orientation. So right here we're sitting on top of our one of our box rail cars that we have for our hazmat training and our rail car for our um, C kit so we can do our ammonia or chlorine leaks when we do our 160 or for when we're training new guys on the team. Uh, this box car also has a confined space prop to it as well where we'd have to sit there and do from above the box car, drop down into a box inside the box car and to do a, a rescue that way with uh, your tripod or Arizona Vortex. Inside the rail car, we have multiple drums in there where we can make leaks out of it when we're teaching guys, either the class or our, our new guys on the team, with leaks where they can sit there and use their Cromwell kits and all that to fix the leaks. Over here you see in front of us is just some heavy equipment that's waiting to be used for our VMR classes, so like the tractor and then that um, dump truck over there. The uh, bobtail is a... Um, a work in progress right now for when we start setting up to do water injections. We can do water injections on our heavy rescue, uh, so we just have to build the prop. Over here with the uh, semi-trailers, we use these for our Hazmat 160 class for doing pump off. So the one laying on the side with multiple holes on it, we'll do where we ladder it, foam it, and we uh, drill out the tank to sit there and offload that product into a trailer um, that came from that mean being a vehicle that wrecked and it's on its side. So we do that in Seminole County as well. We do uh, pump offs on calls. Over here is two of our, two out of the three new trailers we just got and I still got to outfit them, but we have a hazmat trailer, which is our pump off trailer for doing pump offs like gasoline and diesel. The other one is our trench slash shoring for when we have our trench calls or we need multiple uh, lumber and all that to go to a scene to sit there and assist with shoring or trench. Alright, so over here we have our confined space prop. We can do horizontal and vertical entries in this prop. We do have corrugated uh, pipe that is buried underneath the ground to sit there and work from an 18 inch hole to a 36 inch hole and a bunch of turns in it as well. So it's not just line of sight rescue, it's where you're going to have to start using a rabbit and multiple anchor points since you won't be able to see. On our heavy we carry the confined space lines that have uh, radio communication with each other so you get always in talking with each other when inside this prop. So over here this is our junkyard. This is where we keep all the cars we're going to cut up and the ones we've cut up. They're, they're, these vehicles right here are being waiting to be picked up by the junkyard and taken away from us. So we cut 100 to a couple hundred cars a year here at this training facility between our trucks that have tools on them, new hires, and the classes that we teach here. Right now we're walking over to where we do all the cutting. This is just a storage area right here. So we're going to move into where we have all of our um, spare uh, hydraulic units, cribbing, and heavy lifting like school buses and Lynx buses for when we want to do just, not just cutting doors off, but at doing heavy lifting with our struts, airbags, stuff like that. Sit there and pick up buses, put a car underneath it for like under rides or something like that. We can flip stuff on its side so you have to use struts and just uh, different types of stabilization, not just a vehicle on all fours because it's not always like that depending on the situation in real life. So we try to show them everything that can be possible here even though it's only a, a training center. It's not real world, but it's, we try to make it as close to as we can. For those who can't make it out to Florida, another great option for propane training is Ron Huffman, owner of Respondertraining.com. Ron's a master of all things propane flare and water injection, as well as the developer of the Responder Propane Flare, aka the Dragon Slayer. And of course it's available at HazmatResource.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get in touch and let us know what you'd like to see on future Hazmat Roadshow TV segments as we travel throughout North America. Like and subscribe so we can continue to help Hazmat teams and first responders every day. See you on scene with Hazmat Roadshow TV.